Hi, I'm teacher Edgar. We're working with intentional teaching card M18, Bounce and Count. The objectives are, uses number concepts and operations, and compares and measures. What we're gonna be doing today is bouncing a ball and counting how many times it bounces. And you're going to need a couple of different types of balls and a piece of paper and a pen to keep track of your results or a whiteboard if you've got it. That's what I'll be using today. And I recommend balls that are inflated differently and with different textures if you can. Let's take a good look at those. So first, you're going to make a prediction about how many times that ball will bounce. So you're going to ask them to guess or estimate. You can use any of these words. I recommend all of them. So as an example, I ask the student or the child I'm working with, how many times do you think this ball will bounce? And don't bounce it yet. And let's say they make a prediction of two. Great, we're gonna write that number down. Yellow ball, yellow ball. And then if you want, you can even put your own prediction too. I'm gonna guess 75. Now I'm intentionally picking a really high ranging number that's not gonna happen just to, for a comparison range. Then have the child hold that ball and try to keep that ball drop at the same height every time and just have them count how many times it bounces. So I'm gonna release it here and let's try it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. I'm gonna write the result in a different color so it's really visually different. And that's it. You do the same thing with a few, a few times with different types of balls. Try to get a wide range of balls if you can, like one that's really going to bounce a lot or one that's just going to bounce a little bit. And again, different textures. And why? Because sometimes some of our learners really appreciate different types of sensory input. So that's always fun. And different rates of inflation. So some of them are really inflated very well and some of them are loosely inflated. That'll give you differing results as well. And for some of our learners that maybe aren't yet ready to be verbally expressive, maybe they're not yet ready to count out loud, what can we do? You can have them clap for every time the ball bounces. And you can do the counting out loud while they're doing the clapping. That's a great way for them to communicate and demonstrate that yes, they are watching and they're participating. And what if you have a child that yet doesn't yet have numeric awareness? What if they're not at that point yet? Well, you can make the activity a little easier by just asking which one will bounce more, the yellow ball or the bumpy purple ball? So there's a way for all different types of learners to participate in this, in this activity. We're gonna be focusing mainly on the area of mathematics. That's what we're addressing with this activity card, but there's also some expressive language as well, and even some fine motor development. Sometimes you may have to help the child hold the ball and release the ball, and that's okay. Just give it a little nudge, a little tap to get that ball released. But everyone should be able to participate in this, and it's a lot of fun. So give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.